14, 13, 14, 15 mm -hmm. testosterone. And it's like a very competitive nature for us as males. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to assert our dominance, trying to figure out our, our pecking order. Yep. And so, yep. you know, where do I fit in? I mean, I'm smart in school. School is easy. I can, I'm in trigonometry. I'm in Spanish. I'm in uh, uh, chemistry class. I'm in classes with like people two, three years older than me. Mm -hmm. So I was good in school. And, but I'm like, man, I need to, I need to try to make some money. Cause I'm like, I'm not, I'm not able to, like you said, feel like I fit in at that level. Mm -hmm. And then once I holler at the big homie and I'm like, dude, you know, let me get a double up. I didn't really know what it was. I didn't even know what crack was. Nobody in my family was into drugs. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever been locked up. But I, I, I one, once during the summer and my 10 speed, I'm like, dude, you know, I figured he might have some because I could tell he was a little bit more advanced than everybody else, the big homie. And I got a 20 double up. I went to the park. <laughs> And as soon as I rolled up, somebody nodded their head and I nodded my head. And when they seen it, I'm like, okay, this is how it goes. I didn't even know how to do it. And they, what you got? I'm like, what you need? And I showed it in my hand, <laughs> popped it around a little bit. They like, they snatched it up. I shot right back over there, came back, did it again. I shot back four or five times across the hood. Yeah. And next thing you know, I had like 200 bucks. Uh -huh. I'm like, man, shit. That's a game. That was a game changer. So was it already cooked up or you cooked it up? It was already rocked. Oh, okay. It was already rocked. So, you know, at that point, um, you know, I started seeing the game. But mm -hmm. see, the cold thing about it, man, it was that whether nobody lacing us really on how to buy raw. Right. So they were getting right. us like, yeah. we were getting $500 yeah. double up to yeah. get getting the yeah. court QP. They was, they, you know was get, I mean? they was getting you like that because they wasn't getting, getting it. it. Yeah, they getting it soft. And then they cutting it, they putting a, a three on every seven, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? So I, yeah, yeah, that was the game, you know what I'm saying? That when, was the game. Yeah, you and didn't know no better. You didn't know no, no better. No, and these guys, <clears throat> they knew we were hustlers. Yeah. So we were good runners for them. Yeah. Oh, big, what you need, what you need, little market, what you need. So yeah. little, 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 crip, little crip. So I was making them more money than they were making for themselves. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They was hitting you over the head because you didn't know no better. Yeah, and that's, so, that, go ahead. So no, it, it just, uh, like you said, getting around that, it advanced me so much as far as this maturity because mm -hmm. I had to stand out there with these grown men and not like get punked from my dough, but still get my customers. Mm -hmm. And I had one or two homies watching my back, but it just took me down that path, man. Because once you get, once you see how economics works, yeah. And then I'm looking at like my, you know, like my grandfather, he working all them hours and he eating, passing out. I'm like, dude, I don't want to be right 40, 50 years old, like living like that where you are slave to your job. Right, right. Real talk. Yeah, that was always a fear for mine, too. Uh, when I was talking with the homie Jay Prince, um, that's what I told him. I said, man, when I was young, I kind of made a uh, kind of an oath to myself. I was like, I mean, it may have been reckless, but at the same time, it put a sense of urgency, you know, under my situation. I mean, I had my first child at 16, but I remember mm. saying, hey, before I be working at a job and slaving at a job for the rest of my life, I'm going to go out here and grab it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I heard you. you heard, I'm gonna go out here and grab it. You know what I mean? And, uh, That's an inside joke. Yes. Yeah, an inside joke. <laughs> I'm gonna go out here and grab it. And, uh, and I was willing to, you know, wholeheartedly go to prison or, or, or die, you know, uh, about getting to some money, you know, and again, hustling with a purpose, you know what I'm saying? I like, I knew that, okay, let me go in with a plan. You know, but I'm not I want my time to be my own. If I got to be at a job like I was literally at a point Herc, where I told my old lady this. I said, if I had to go to court and the judge said, listen, you got to go to jail or you got to get a job. My next question would be, well, how much jail time are you talking? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's how I did not want to be stuck on that hamster wheel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah. you know, because if it's something I could do, then I'll go sit down because I feel like I'm losing time anyway. You know, if I'm going somewhere working 10, 12 hours a day and just stuck on the hamster wheel of getting by, you know what I mean? Hell, I'm of no use to anybody anyway. So let me go. Fuck it. Let me go lay up in here and let the state take care of me. You know what I mean? And let my old lady go, you know, thrive without me being dead weight, you know, because that's how I looked at it at the time. So mm -hmm. I definitely understand, you know, that concept. So. Once you did you so once you start getting the hustling and stuff like that, did you did you win at that? Did were you just kind of making ends you know, meet or did you it, actually it was come really up? really short lived because I tell you, most of the people who were winning in the dope game back then were 
their whole families were drug dealers mm-hmm. and my family was square. So everything I did was under scrutiny. Yeah. If I had an extra three pair of the shoes mm-hmm. in my closet, my mom would mm-hmm. be like, where'd you get those from? I said, Oh, I got a deal. My mom wasn't, she's like, come on, man, those feels back then. You didn't get those. Yeah. Where'd you get that Adidas sweatsuit? I know that's a hundred bucks. And where'd you get that? You know, we had a little, uh, the Rolex from the smokers and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So you, <laughs> you took all that stuff, take it all up where you yeah. go to the house. But I mean, my mom wasn't stupid. So I had to be so sneaky. I couldn't, I had to, be sneaky on the street and be sneaky at home. And it, it was, it was a clash. I was living mm-hmm. a double life. Yeah. But ultimately because one of my teachers was actually, he had the brick phone back then and he started talking about the stock market. And I'm like, man, if I sell this dope, maybe I can get me an account and start trading stocks. So I was thinking like, wow, you know, business wise, mm-hmm. if I could, you know, take this money, you know, and he was talking, but nobody in my family talked about stocks. So it was kind of foreign, but I was trying to get the game and figure out how do I open up account? How do I trade and then turn around and let that money build? But I knew that that was how people had wealth. Mm-hmm. People who traded stocks, who owned corporations, they had money and that was what they didn't teach us in school. So I tried to get at them a little bit, but man, it was it was like fighting an uphill battle because nobody, I couldn't, who, who could I talk to about this? Right. So I couldn't go to my people and be like, hey, I got a couple thousand. Can you help me get some stocks? They'd be like, I'd get into a whole argument. They'll take the money and be like, okay, you can't do it. You know, I'd be in trouble. So I was like caught between a rock and a hard place. So I wasn't able to really take my game to the next level. So I sold dope for like uh, the summertime and into the school year and ended up getting caught up, helping the homie and went to juvenile hall. <laughs>